What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 AD Medieval Kingdoms battle for you today. And this one is between uh, Lorraine, France and the Seljuks and the Ottomans. So the Turks are back and this time they are facing the French or two French armies. So this is uh, some Lorraine troops that we're just quickly having a look at here. Um, I mean these guys are goddamn... I actually like this, the Br Braz... Zonian spearmen. It's like red and white. They look. That looks really nice. It's very fresh. Um, but then, yes, they're over there across, just finally setting up are the two Turkish armies. We have the Ottomans and the Seljuks. Um, it looks like the Seljuks are going up against the L Lorraine, and France will be dealing with the Ottomans. The two superpowers there fighting each other. Um, some uh, some units of note to possibly keep an eye on. Um, this battle is going to be the Turks with these gunners here. I'm pretty sure they brought them in the last battle we saw them uh, take part in, and I'd say probably like the French cavalry. It's always a threat. The French always have the flower of chivalry. Loving that the car, the carling like little banner there next to the fleur de lis. I'm liking the representation of the carls, carlings. But yes, these cliens. I mean, they're, they're early uh, period, but they're still heavy melee cavalry. They could be pretty da uh, pretty major. Uh, power in this battle. I like how they're called Cliens, they're just like, yes, these are clients. I mean, also like the, uh, I was about to say Brabant, but the, uh, Lorraine. Lorraine's cavalry could be pretty ma pretty dangerous as well. They've got a lot of it. Mounted sergeants, and they've got knights. I like that they're just called knights. Just straight to the point. No messing around. They've got some weird pink and white, uh, coloration going on here for their cavalry. That's a bit weird. But, nothing to be ex unexpected. So we'll move on, we'll fast forward. And hopefully they start to get into uh, some sort of engagement soon. They look like they're basically ready to ready to go. They're just staring at each other a bit now. Well, actually, I say that these Hondi arms are moving up. So I'll get them to move up. Hurry up. Hurry up. But yes, guys, if you've been enjoying the content recently and you want to see more 12-12 on the battlefield, then please do leave a like and subscribe. And a comment if there's uh, any in particular factions you want me to try and uh, get battles of or you want to see a particular battle recreated. Um, I'm more than happy to try and do that. I just love your guys' interaction. It's great. Um, but yes, yeah, so I mean, looks like that. Here we go. Here we go. It looks like the French are moving forward or the Lorraine are moving forward. Looks like they're Pavis. Oh god, I'm not even going to try and say that. Ambrush. Well, I say that. Ambrush. Shader? Shooter? Shooter? I don't know. I've definitely butchered that. We're not even going to. We'll move over that. <laughs> that was never said. But it looks like the French are going to ever so slightly move forward. And the Turks are going to respond as well. Looks like the French are going to move at a slower, slower pace, save some. Some uh, energy while the cavalry. Well, this cavalry's got a lot of support. But I mean, there's a lot of Turkish cavalry as well. I mean, these are Skyrim nobles. I mean, they look goddamn awesome. Uh, and also goddamn powerful. They were in the last battle. I'm pretty sure this is another tournament battle. So this is this carries on from the battle against the, the Turks against. Um, uh, in the last battle, so the Turks uh, fought the the sort of Arab nations, didn't they? Like the Spanish and the North Africans. Um, so they've carried on into the next round. I presume the French probably won their round, and uh, now they're now fighting each other. So we'll see who comes out on top of this. Yeah, yeah, they were actually pretty damn good for. I mean, they they're light spear infantry, but they're actually pretty good. Um, we'll see whether they're actually any good against European powers at this time. Don't remember seeing this unit last time. Uh, Uk Tullerkeri. I don't know how you say that, but they look interesting, like melee infantry. And here we go. I mean, the infantry are getting very close now. It's surely it's not going to be long until shots are starting to be fired. I mean, certainly the crossbows are within range. Here we go. Yep. First few rounds going off. Perfect. So I mean, that's going to be a few little, uh, maybe a few little kills here. Don't know. I mean, they've also another unit actually. Yeah, to take note note of is the Noka Foot Guards. They did extremely well in the last battle. Here we go. All of a sudden, it all's kicking off, just like that. Flick of a switch, just going. And it looks like the Noka Foot Guards are gonna juke out these Pavis crossbows. Uh, I would say the Pavis may come out on top. Ever so slightly. I don't think they'll get many kills. 
but they'll win because in the but they won't get as many losses because they've got their huge shields which protect them. Noka foot guards just stand there and take take the hit. And while that's going on, it looks like the French are going to come charging in here. I said, oh no, no, this isn't the French. This is the Turks. The French are still sitting way back. Looks like both sides are just happy to um to deal with archers now. And just do that. So we'll see. I mean, it looks like there's going to be a cavalry charge here. The cavalry getting ready in position. Um, if I was uh, Lorraine, I'd certainly send spears. But pikes are great, but they're hard to get into formation in this... In in a pitch battle. They seem to, like, not bug out, but almost dither a bit. But yes, I mean... It, on goes the uh, engagement between the Noka foot guards and the crossbows. And I mean, the Noka foot guards don't look like they've lost anything. It, look, it looks so weird how the arrows come in. They're like coming in at an angle. And they're like, they would never hit any. They'd never hit you. Like, I don't know if you can see that. I can certainly see that, but it may be a little bit too quick for you guys. Oh, fire arrows now. Trying to break um, some mountain sergeants. And they may just do that. These guys are not very well protected. Definitely want to get these guys out of uh, like out of here. And then, what else is it? Oh, some Seafers are shooting. Wow, okay. Looks like the French are going to go forward and deal with the... Uh, Osmans. I mean, it looks like the Tur Turkish gunners got quite a few kills here. Um, let's see if they. F let's go and fire a shot. Yes, excellent. I mean, it's not very beneficial for you guys, but I mean, you can see they've got put some holes in this line. There's a few dead guys. He says trying to find a few. There's one. <laughs> but he just put a hole in it. It certainly knocks the men over if you're not killing them. But I mean. It is pretty de devastating. Let's see if they fire another volley. No, they're, they're quite happy just to not bother. But we have a main infantry clash. That is why they will not be engaging. Again, it looks like it looks like some cavalry going to get in behind some Ascari nobles. They're going to get in behind these uh, French cheval foot chevaliers. Very elite uh, swords there against some Noka foot guards. Um, I'd say the chevaliers, if supported, uh, will win this. Because right now... They're getting attacked, uh, they're getting hammer and anvil from Ascari nobles, but it does look like some Kliens have come to their rescue. There we go, the main infantry line has clashed. Well, not the case with Lorraine and the Seljuks, but it looks like the two main superpowers are going to fight out first and see who wins. These, these Noka foot guards, they're not to be messed around with. They are medium swords, but I mean, they, look at the armor. They're not really, they should be heavy. They should be down as heavy. I don't think I've seen these guys actually get defeated by anyone yet, so maybe today is the day that the uh, French Chevaliers proved me wrong, and for once I love the French as an Englishman. I'm just watching the individual duels, it doesn't like look like anyone's really dying, they're quite evenly matched. No, he's he failed to kill anyone. It looks like the infantry are they're ever so slightly going for it. Looks like uh, Brabant, well, not Brabant, um, Lorraine is going to defend his allies' flank, which is smart from any cav attacks with his, with his uh, so I thought it was his pikes with spears. Looks like there's going to be a cavalry charge, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, we'll go back to the infantry fight quickly. I mean, oh, okay, there's a huge cavalry fight now. Um, it looks like the Turks are losing it ever so slightly, possibly just because of units uh, contribute. I mean, they seem the heavy infantry though are beating these spears and these uh, their own dismounted chevalier um, French chevaliers. Are these not front dismounted che French chevaliers as well though? Are these are sergeant at arms? Oh, I do apologise. I thought these Oh no, they're dismounted. Okay, there is a mix of the two. Fair enough. There is a mix of the two, but there's sergeants over here and they're not fit doing so well against the uh, no foot guards, which is not to be surprised, to be honest. Really, these cavalry um, need to get through here. These gendarmes, they need to get through here. Or are they gendarmes? They're gentils. Gentils, they need to go through here and try and deal with some problems. They probably could overwhelm, like, these seafers, I imagine. And they can certainly get the support of these uh, levies. Oh, it's not worth it. Yeah, you should have gone for these these guys, these seafers. I think they're probably worse off. If you've got a good charge there, these are shock against... shock. Cavalry against uh, melee cavalry, they're definitely going to come out on top. Well, at least they, they should be. Oh, Cephas are also shot. They don't really have any, uh, they don't really seem to have any spears. But anyway, it does look like 
it's pretty even between the two. Um, it still is a skirmish battle on the far side. And it looks like it's going to be a nice little, uh, little flank here. Mounted Sergeant's coming over from Lorraine. Could he get these um, handgunners? It's going to be a nice little charge. Go on. Very nice, very nice. Come on. Oh, and there's some... Uh, it looks like that'll be the general unit coming to save them, but they did just crush them in time. Those poor handgunners crushed between friendly and foe horses. Um, but, I mean, yes, this is a Skyrim Nobles. Oh, no, this is a this is just a weakened unit's return, and they break just as like that. They really need to send in... Um, need to start flanking around. I mean, the general is actually doing some good damage. He is breaking lots of the infantry for the French. The French are probably winning the cavalry fight, but the infantry fight is certainly being won by the Turks. Huge. It looks like these two sides are quite happy to just shoot each other to pieces and wait and see who's uh, who comes out on top. Bit of a strange charge to charge in the back there. Really needed to uh, like get behind. Uh, just flank these guys. There's no foot guards. Level. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. I mean, the French are certainly winning here. They're certainly winning here. Oh, it looks like the Seljuks are sending over. It looks like both sides are happy to send over their cavalry to help over here. But, um... Brabant, not Brabant, I keep saying it. Uh, Lorraine keeps sending troops. Uh, he's got troops all the way over there now. So maybe they can just do some damage. Looks like there's actually going to be a sort of a cavalry fight going on. We'll see. Will this turn into a charge? Mounted Nobles against Ascari... Uh, mounted Sergeants against Ascari Nobles. That'll probably be an Ascari Noble win. Yeah, that's a... Uh, in interesting decision. I mean, these guys are now not supported. Like, they're well and truly cut off. Like, these guys could happily send spears and they could probably ki kill them. But there's a lot of breaking from the Turks now. A lot. Uh, these Noka foot guards are going to need to really pull it out of the bag here to win this. I mean, there's a lot of cavalry left. Noka f oh, general charging into the Noka foot guards. Good chance for the Turks here to kill off the French general. Swarm him. Swarm him. You can do this. Roy de France. Good to see the forces found your courage, but I mean, it does look like, oh it looks like it's going to be some uh, French chevalier, oh no, some French sergeants coming in, they may help and turn the battle in favour of the French, I doubt it, they're going to need more infantry, these folk, no, Noka foot guards are pretty damn good, oh, are they, they're, they're Martelosis, they're not foot guard, Martelosos, they're not uh, foot guards, so that actually could be huge for the French. I thought these guys were foot guards, and that would have, they would have definitely won otherwise. But yeah, look at... These foot guards have barely taken any cash. I mean, they've just taken a lot there. But this one's 33, and they've been in combat since the entire start of the battle. Like, these guys are still very fresh. Martelosos not being sent in. Yeah, they're still fairly fresh. Like, the French infantry was just no match. It's going to be the French cavalry, like it is in most battles. The French cavalry is going to have to overwhelm. But it's not their best... Cavalry, it's like Cleans and Gentiles, it's like early stuff. So I mean they they do have a chance the Turks in winning this, I'd have said. But they're gonna pull out and it looks like the generals had enough fighting Martelosis, and that's not a bad decision to be honest. And no bodyguards now running down those poor sergeants. They are running out of stuff, I'd say, are the French and the uh, and Lorraine over here. They really have it looks like it's just gonna turn into who wants to supply this fight the most over here? I mean, they've got a lot of pikes. I'm sure that the um, Lorraine is just going to play defensive and he's going to send everything else in over here. Because why wouldn't you? Does make a good decision. I mean, it's still very close in balance power. Um, Turks have ever so slightly less men, but they started with a lot less, actually. They've really closed the gap. Closed it by from like a gap of about... Oh dear, General has fallen. The enemy general has died. Oh, it's the French general! That is going to be huge! I mean, since the French have got still quite a lot of stuff over here, that is huge. I mean, it did seem inevitable. He was get quite well cut off from the rest of his army. But yeah, I mean, the balance of powers even now is just shifting more and more in favour. I mean, it's only 200 difference now and for the French in favour. But, I mean, most of the French stuff is going to start to break, you imagine, with no, a lack of general. The Gentiles here, I mean, they're... They need, to fight, they need to get out of this combat and just do some charges. They really aren't supposed to be in these sort of fights. In prolonged melee. They do look good though, I will admit. The green and white actually just look quite nice. But here we go. I mean, in fairness, Seifers are now starting to break for the Seljuks, but more Noka foot guard just coming in for both factions. 
Actually, they're, they're those uh, axe units. But more no foot guard here from the Ottoman Turks. And then we have the Seljuk Turks sending in some uh, axes. So, I mean, these cavalry are just overwhelmed. There's no way they're getting out. It's the poor knights, the basic knights. They don't have any other name. But they're cool pink and white. They're going to get cut down. You hate to see it. The glory, the, the flower of chivalry is being deflowered very, very uh, quickly and promptly. But here we go. It looks like uh, Lorraine has had enough. He's going to go in. He's going to try and win this battle. Not a bad decision. No foot guards absolutely picked apart by crossbows. So that is the way to do it, guys. If you ever come up against Noka foot guards, crossbows and try and uh, challenge them in, in a skirmish battle. Because even though, yes, they're good, no foot guards are good against like other other um, like archers. They'll probably win against like Pavi's crossbows, where they are very unlikely to get any kills. Very, very good. Pavi's crossbows. Best way to deal with them: cavalry, or just fight them in melee with normal infantry. Um, then that's a good chance as well. But that's rarely going to happen. So cavalry, but heavy infantry here now fighting the Brabant spears. Yaya is also fighting out. Well, interesting to see whether they can hold against these spears after doing so well in the last battle that we saw them in. If you haven't checked out that battle, I do recommend you do. I mean, look at this. Imagine being some of these... Uh, well, I presume these are just like... What are these? Foot guard. Yeah, Duke's foot guard. This might be the general. Oh, it is. And he's just seeing, like, cavalry and infantry coming back from the Seljuks. Oh, God. That was a decent charge. They held their ground. They braced. They did, and they're probably going to cut mo many of these horses down. They probably, yeah, the general wants to get out of there. General versus general. Soldiers don't really want to lose theirs. But here we go. No foot guards going in now. The Turks have been victorious. There's just, actually, there's no French left. That's a Brabant, uh, a, not Brabant. It's a Lorraine unit over there. So Lorraine is already looking defeated. He's just going to try and new box and kill as many as possible. Not a bad decision. These pikes kind of need to uh, face up more and so they get more kills. Also, so they're kind of protected more from their, from the uh, halberdiers. Because these Noka foot guards are just shooting at them quite easy at point blank range. These halberdiers really aren't engaged in the pikes. So they're not losing any men. So these pikes are just dying. And there's a nice weak spot here. If the cavalry can just get in here. Like I said, here we go. Pavi's crossbow. Easiest way to break them. Cavalry. And these guys won't last long now. And then another one. And then you can go into the back of all these pikes here. And then it's undone. I mean, they are breaking some stuff. Um, well done to the uh, Lorraine player. But I mean, like, these Noka foot guards, they're tough to break, in fairness. But it's just not going to happen today. I mean, they just are outnumbered now. Like, 300. It's not the end of the world. If they keep their general alive, they could possibly do it. But like, there's still a lot of stuff breaking. Noka foot guards. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure if they've got enough. Like... There's gaps starting to fill, but be found in like their lines. Like these naked foot guards now are just going to encircle the general, and that's him done. That's him out the battle basically. He's a good unit; he'll hold for a while, but that that need that wall started away. But this cavalry over here, this cavalry here needs to charge into the back of these uh, axes, do some damage, get some good hammer and anvil. But look at him. Just we'll put the hood on. Look at the amount of units that are swarming the general. There's no way he's getting out of that alive. And these spears here are now breaking. I mean, they did break some Noka foot guards. So well done to them. But, I mean, they're wavering against Yaya. Yeah, yeah. So they are winning decisively. These guys, they're actually kind of good. Oh, these guys, are even for, for light spears, are taking on, um, like, medieval, well-armored spears. In fairness, it's Lorraine. It's a, it's a minor faction. But still, you'd imagine they'd still break. These guys would still break the Yaya. Yeah. They are being supported, in fairness, by the Noka foot guards quite often. But still. Oh, this is painful to see. Pike's looking the wrong way, and Martelosos are just going to go in, and they're going to just chop them down in the back. It's painful to see. You don't want to see this. But they're turning around, and now they're, they're going to fight the Martelosos this way, and they're going to get charged in the back, inevitably, by cavalry when they're spotted. But these, yeah, these poor pikemen... They're just men with rags on. They've got, like, sacks on their head. And they're just... I mean, they are actually... They did break those guys. No, they're, they're pulling back. I thought they broke them. Maybe they could 
possibly sneak up on the Noka bodyguards? I doubt it. I'm sure they're on skirmish mode. But yeah, there you go. The general's broken. The foot guards, I don't know if he's even dead. But he's broken. So that is going to be GG for Brabant, you imagine. Not Brabant, Lorraine. I do apologize. I keep butchering. <laughs> Who's playing who? You have some Brabant spears, man. It's, it's, it's confusing. Yes, here we go. The final unit, some Shiltron Militia. And they break. And that is it, really. Oh, no, they got some Brabant spears there. There you go. That's why you call them Brabant, because the Brabant army uh, men hold longest. A period victory. I'd say close. I don't think it was that bad. We'll end the replay and have a look. Um, but, yeah, thank you for Premisil for sending it in. Um, I do appreciate all the replays. They're very, very good. Let's have a look at your uh, the Ottomans first played by Premisil. Um... Or Prem Sil, I do apologise. Um, so the Noka bodyguards getting 280 kills. Very, very good. Not surprising. These guys racking up loads of kills. They have, obviously, Archer and their a Cav unit. Um, so, yeah, they're very good. Uh, Gunners, 44. After saying that to worry about them, they actually weren't a f a anything to worry about. They got run down by cavalry very, very quickly. Um, we have some Noka foot guards. As usual, um, I told... Well, I said to worry about these guys quite a lot. They did a lot of kills, and they basically just won it for the Ottomans in the infantry fight, along with um, their Ascari nobles with some hammer and anvils. Um, the heavy infantry getting lots of kills, actually, 231. It's the second best unit, actually, in this. They did very, very well. Um, I think they were just chopping down lots of uh, French cavalry, to be honest, and that was how they got so many kills. So have a quick look at the Sultanate of Rum. Lost a lot less men, but... Um, his Yaya's, I mean, didn't get many kills, but they survived and they held off. They held back all those um, infantry, like, while other units could just surround them and kill them and get all the good kills. Like the Noka Foot Guards here with 120. That's not bad. I mean, their Voinyuk getting zero kills. I think they were just staring at the uh, Shieldron Militia for most of the battle. Um, then the Seafus getting 285. I think that's probably the best unit on the battlefield for them. Um... And then their Sky Nobles getting 165 kills, and their General getting 170 as well. The Noka bodyguards are doing well as well. Then we've got um, Spitfire here. Um, we'll look at Lorraine first. He did okay. I mean, is Pavi's doing insanely well in fairness because they took out so many Noka foot guards, um, like 187 kills. Wow. Um, Homs de Arms getting 148. I'm not even sure what they were in like the battle. I didn't even remember seeing them. General didn't not doing so well. Um, and his spears not doing great. His cavalry were probably this, is not too bad either. The mountain sergeant getting 93, 121 for his knights. And Shieldron levies is kind of just broke at the end of the battle and never really got involved too much. And Shieldron militia again, same same thing. And then uh, Sean uh, getting 100. 60 kills with his uh, French Chevaliers, that's not bad. I mean, and then his cavalry, I guess. Actually, his cavalry didn't do that great. His clients, they weren't actually as great as I thought. I've never really seen them in battle, but they not, didn't do great. Oh, he had some Brabo Brabant uh, archers as well. Some Brabo Braz Bra uh, Brabzonian. Bra oh, God, I butchered that. Um, yeah, and, I mean, and his general did okay on 91, but everything else not doing great either. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, then please do leave a like. And if you want to see more 1212, then uh, let me know in the comments uh, below. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.